obviously. Really. Let Tiny go someplace else. How's it? Angus. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Okay, that worked, I guess. Okay. All right. We're here. Huh? We're here. Close to, we're here. Imagine you're in your house and you think, you know what? Go to the basement, <laughs> huddle together. And you come back up and your house is just gone after a big rumble and man uh there is tornado in nebraska some parts of iowa um it wasn't so much harm to people but it was major all that damage so it's a pretty big tornado i didn't see how big it was i'm all curious Ew. Ew. Um, um, you know, you know I, don't I don't know. I saw that movie Twister when it first came out, and I got all hooked into the hook. And I was looking on the radar screens, and you can see weather fronts come in, and that's where the 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 storms happen. Have we met? When the cold air and the warm air hit, and then those storms happen. And if there's little bits in there, and you could kind of, yeah. I could kind of say, wow, looks like they might, they'll probably have twisters right over here. And sure enough, and it, it's, it's just weather. Um, I mean, severe weather, you can really see it. Regular weather, you can't, but, um, wow. I mean, geez. and I was in Texas for, I mean, I've seen weather in Montana. Sure. And storms, snow, sure. Pretty severe stuff. But then I go to Texas and I'm there for a few years and that's the bottom of Tornado Alley. It goes from Texas, like Texas Panhandle area, even Dallas, and starts to go up to the Midwest. That's the alley. And it's like kind of at a diagonal. <laughs> the storefronts come in like that. And uh, so just, uh, yeah, yeah, like Oklahoma, it's all flat. But <laughs> Day. Day. So I'm just flabbergasted about this tornado somewhat. Um, but a little vlogging news. I'm doing fine, I think. Um, walking around a little bit in the park. It, it's kind of, it's the anesthesia and then afterwards. Because you feel fine when the anesthesia wears off, but it's still there. It kind of lingers in the background and like headaches are coming. But I'm not sure if it was the anesthesia or that uh, preparation. The colon prep juice. Because that... It has a lot of things about uh, dehydration. Beware of dehydration. Drink eight eight ounce glasses of water before and all. And I didn't drink my eight eight ounce glasses. Of, I drink coffee I mostly, I think. <laughs> so I'm just nervous. It's like too much coffee and not enough water. So it might be like reminiscent. I mean, you know, just kind of a uh, dehydration event and kind of getting over. I mean, I think that's more of the case. But anyways, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. If you're wa even watching, hey, thanks for watching. Press that little like button on the bottom of the YouTube thing. Not the, not the, not the Facebook. We don't care about Facebook. The, the YouTube thing. There's a thumbs up. Or, anyways, um, yeah, my viewership is low. So if you're watching, gee, thanks. <laughs> you know, bad. Actually, thanks for actually taking time watching this. I'm just uh, doing a little vlogging news. You know, I'll get some other little videos going on here. We're going to read Shakespeare on Sunday. Hamlet, I think part two. I didn't post part one yet. I should do that. Oh, gosh. Behind this stuff. And the big news is we got Trump in his thing, and he's not getting away with stuff, and they're testifying, and blah, blah, blah. But... Um, these protests against Israel and for 
Palestine erupting throughout all these campuses across the nation. And, you know, one of them's kind of a little bit of a... 42! Seems to me neat. Thanks, Mickey. Uh, one of them's kind of an alma mater, I see. The, and there's... We're tasting the Palestinian. See, when I was at USC, there was there was Los Angeles, and I remember the Watts riots. And just before that was Patty Hearst. Was kind of where she met her demise in the Watts riots. You know, Watts was right there. Bad neighborhood. Bad neighborhood. But when I was there, I didn't feel intimidated. Oddly enough, it was just like this is it. It's like nothing happened. It was just super, super quiet. You walk down the street, it's like super quiet, which is probably should have been an indicator of supreme danger because <laughs> no one's out there. Just walking, hey, nothing wrong here. <laughs> it's like you're the only. I'm the only idiot walking around on the sidewalk at night. So anyway, um, yeah, there was Patty Hearst. Now, if you remember Patty Hearst, she was kidnapped. She was the heiress of Randolph Hearst, who's basically who Citizen Kane, the famous Citizen Kane movie, the guy, was based on Randolph Hearst. So the actual Randolph Hearst, the million billion, well, back it was million back then, and she got kidnapped for ransom by the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the PLO. I don't even know what the heck is a PLO. What the fuck? But she gets kidnapped. And then a little later, not that much longer later, there's bank robberies in Los Angeles with, you know, machine guns, rat a tat tat machine gun bank robberies. And in the security footage of the machine gun bank robbery, Los Angeles, there's Patty Hearst. There's Patty Hearst in the bank holding a machine gun going, hey, let's go put the money in the bag. Patty Hearst, uh, what's that called? The Stockholm Syndrome? Patty Hearst joins the PLO. She was captive and now she's participant. And everyone was just, what is going on? And then later on, I think she, with the, they, they tried to capture those people and she died in the fire that commenced when they tried to break into the building to get them, like the SWAT team. Uh, so PLO, um, not a good reputation memory from the past and palestine liberation what's the liberation they say from they have this nice little saying so everyone can chant from the ocean to the sea or something and it's like ocean to the sea and it's in the jordan the jordan river you know and the mediterranean sea and all that land and they're saying that that's where like that's where you'd have like the west bank and things like that or not the West Bank. Well, uh, the other place, Gaza. <laughs> Whatever. They're all the same idea. And that whole area in contention. Satan. Satan says the ghost box. Satan. <laughs> Satan has arisen and is making trouble. And uh, that whole area, they're saying, has to be uh, liberated um, and free the Palestinians. And the um, and what they really, really are chanting, what they really mean is free from the Israelis. <laughs> they, want, they, want, they want it to be free of Israel. Free from... So there's this just like an elimination bit chant. It's not freeing them. It's like eliminate those guys. It's really what they're saying. Sad. It's sad. And so, you know, I, I just... It, it just, I mean, okay, yeah, you probably know all this, but what it really just irks me is these student protesters, they're thinking they're so significant. Like, they're going to sit down there in tents and disrupt everybody and uh, basically terrorize Jewish people on campus. And uh, they're going to make a difference. Like, what, they say something. It's typical college student thinking. They say something and what they say is so significant and people thinking how important they are how important i say something you listen to me and obey me oh presidents and leaders of the world obey me because i say it <laughs> it's, like, it's like nah no nah, you're not really yeah peaceful protest sure but these things are not peaceful anymore so they have the complete right to haul them away and Oh, arrest me because I'm trying to be more 
important and more significant because now it's it really means something because they put out the handcuffs oh oh you put the handcuffs on too tight and all that comes out uh, oh they oh, oh they, so uh, And it, it also irks me that, like, uh, there's some large uh, celebrity figures who do make influence saying, you know, like Pink Floyd of, you know, the, the Roger Waters, the bass player, lyricist of Pink Floyd. He's like, I think he's pro-Palestinian. And you just kind of go, why, dude? Why? I mean, like, why? Why are you pro those guys? I mean, anyways, I'm not uh you know down with the israeli kill um civilians but they're kind of more like collateral damage rather than uh war zone in an urban what is your name anyways let's see what's in hawaii news shall we <laughs> let's make this shorter thing. let's make this shorter oh Saint Mary. that's it that's all the time we have <laughs> So we'll continue on. Hawaii residents are the biggest tax hike. Biggest tax hike because Hawaii, the state, has so much big extra money, they better put a tax break in there. Oh, we got lots of spare extra money. And we're going to put some on Maui and then we're going to tax you more. So anyways, yeah, there's a little tax break there going on. I'm trying to look bad. A fishing boat blew up. You know, because rest in peace. Hello. <laughs> rest in peace. Hello. Fishing boat blew up, so now all that illegal fishing is going to be well. Wow, okay. And the navy is going. What? What? It's not so bad. <laughs> they contaminated the drinking water of Honolulu. People having health issues. Yeah, it's just they uh, walk it off. So they're kind of doing it. And the university protester site impasse. Oh, they're going to have a... Oh, we have demands. Take your tents out of there. I don't know. Um, I... Uh, all I can tell you is it shows there's a lot of pro-Palestinian Palestinians in America. They got a voice to go, hey. Uh, yeah. Okay. And in sports, this guy. <laughs> The NFL draft pick, this guy is um, St. Louis. He used to go to St. Louis High School. Roman Wilson, he's going to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this other guy is uh, Marist Liu Fao. And he's going to be, he got picked for the Dallas Cowboys. See? It's like, oh, look, Marist, you got picked for Dallas Cowboy. Yeah, go be one Cowboy now, yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? Forget. Fishing boat blew up. Okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. Let's just relax, man. Remember back in the day in 1961 and everything's cool? I think you can just relax. Go outside, you just relax. You just go out to the Bishop Museum. Oh, this is relaxing. Go outside the Bishop Museum. Look, the constructor building a big, um, um, what? <laughs> the building a dome. It's the planetarium. This is the museum's, Bishop Museum's planet. Look at the truck. <laughs> it's like, okay. They're building the planetarium at the Bishop Museum. It was such a thing when they did that. It's like, oh, the planetarium. Oh, look, there's stars inside the building. And the tornadoes. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, tornado swept to the Midwest. Third. Lancaster County, separate managers. Get to get Omaha County Police, Omaha, and Elkhorn, Bennington, and Waterloo, Western Douglas. It's all mostly it's a damn, and even Dallas. And then they're like, Brace yourself for golf ball size hail, which is someone say goodbye to your car. Oh man, done, uh, devil, done, down, devil. Oh my god, <laughs> oh yeah, criminal trial, political cartoon. Sleepy Joe is a crick, he's sleeping, he's sleeping, sleeping, and he's a crook. Cr 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 <laughs> uh, there's not much going on here with the political uh finger on the pulse. Why is he here? Okay, the symphony is really cool. Uh, the pro surfer should have thing, and you should give um, blood. Local born surfing pros deserve media coverage. Hawaii is a birthplace of surfing, and in 1998, surfing became the official individual sport of Hawaii. Earlier this month, four professional surfers, all born and raised in Hawaii, competed in the final days of the WSL Margaret River Pro Surfing Contest in Australia. 
Gabriel Bryan of Kauai won the women's event. In the men's, Maui's uh, Imai Kalani DeVault finished equal fifth <laughs> from Oahu. What's equal fifth? Seth Monez got equal third. John John Florence narrowly lost in the finals. John John lost. I hope you will report our professional surfers in the future. Karen Gallagher, Holly Evo. Well, thank you, Karen, for uh, for pointing out that uh, we uh, need um. <laughs> we need to. What do you call uh, uh, the guy? Report the surfers. The WSL Women's Against the Against the what? They have a whole channel on cable. It's like all surfing. <laughs> so I'm sure it's on the surfing events. They gotta have it in the newspaper. I don't know the newspaper. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, yeah, this one, right? <laughs> Anyways, have a happy Saturday. It's rainy over here. It's rainy. Oh, the weather's still rainy. No hail, though. No tornadoes, I think. Anyways, a lot to you. Have a good day. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.